Well, hi there. I'm going to show you my berries and knot stitch. This is a stitch video, so it's only the stitch, but I will show you the edge I worked out to work with it. And for a cast on, you can just do the chain and then two rows of owl eye to cast on. I have a kind of a, a braided piece here, but this is because this is, I was practicing um, getting this to happen on the cast on and um, for different projects I was doing. And then um, this stitch looked so nice in this yarn that I thought, okay, I'll do the stitch video now. So anyway, this is the stitch. Here's what it looks like. Beautiful textured stitch. And this yarn really shows the stitch well. And then the other side looks like this. Has a lot of texture too. So you can use both sides if you want. It's not curling. You can see how flat it is. And that's just with an owl eye edge. Um, a modified owl eye edge. And um, yeah, with the chain cast on, it will look more like this at the bottom. And then two rows of owl eye. That's how I would normally, uh, what I would normally do with this. Uh, so, or whatever kind of uh, <laughs> cast on you want to use. I'll leave the cast on that I would use with this on my channel, as well as the cast off will be on there on this. And I will show you the edge. And then you can go ahead and do a project if you want before I get around to doing a project. Okay. Oh, the yarn. <laughs> you want to know the yarn and the loom. Okay. The loom is 11.5 inch diameter. Not that that matters, but it's a 5 8 inch Cindy Wood loom. So there you go. And this yarn is, I've lost the label, but I remember what the yarn is. It's the Millie Calori big. And this particular yarn here has mix is mostly blue with little mixes of pinks and, and rust colors and gold colors that appear here and there in it. It's 50% wool and 50% acrylic and it's a nice big bulky. It's about the same width as Charisma yarn. If uh, that's what you wanted to know for getting getting a look like this. Because of the high wool content, it's actually really good for showing what a stitch looks like. If you use a yarn that um, doesn't show a, the stitch as well, it'll still look really good, but you won't get quite as much of the detail. Very easy stitch to do. It's a one peg stitch. Uh, any one row stitch, let alone one, one peg, it's one peg in one row. It's really nice for working in the round too because you never get a jog. And this also looks really good in the round. And I do know I have a round project coming because I already have it in the works. Okay, so let's show you how to do the stitch. So I'll show you the edges when we get there. To take the yerking, the yerking yarn, the working yarn, and just do an E-wrap. Okay? Maybe I should get it a little bit closer. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Okay. So we do an E-wrap. And after we've done the E-wrap, we take the working yarn and rewrap the peg by going in front of it from the back. We're going in the direction we're going, which is this direction. Nice and loose so that it knits over easy and you just knit it off. And then you take the working yarn, come back around a second time. So there's three knits on the peg. And that's all there is to it. That's what gives you a stitch like this. Kind of amazing, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, E-wrap. Then come back over in a U-wrap. Nice and loose. And then one more going back from around and in front. 
and knitting it off. Three stitches on every peg. And so it, it grows really fast. And that's why I'm going to show you my edge because it's such a long stitch. Your normal edges won't work. I mean, you could try a slipped edge, but you'd have to make it really loose and just right so that your work would lay flat and straight like this. So I'm going to show you the one that I'm doing because you can see just how flat and straight it is. Nice and straight, even though it's still on the loom. This corner isn't pulling up or, or buckling. It's just nice and straight there. Okay. So we're going to do an E-wrap. Come back this way and go over in a U-wrap. And then come back from the back around the same way again and U-wrap it again. Okay. So this way. Then this, Oop. <laughs> dropped it, and then this again. Okay, this, and then this, and then this again. Okay, e-wrap it. Same peg, come in front in a U-wrap, nice and loose. And then come back around, same direction we're going. U-wrap it again, knit it off. And then we're on the last two pegs, which I've put stitch markers on on both sides, so I know that they're worked together. So I'm going to come over the number one peg, knit it in a U-wrap, come back over it again in a U-wrap. Whoops. And then you wrap this one. And you can do them both at once. And then we're going to come back over it nice and loose. Knit this off. And come back over it again. Okay. So here we are. We're going to wrap it one more time like this. And that is going to make it so it's long enough and fits perfect with the stitch. Okay, and we're just going to look at that, what that edge looks like. Here's what it looks like. It's a nice tight edge. Fits it well. And uh, we can look at it on the other side too. We can get it to turn properly. There we go, nice tight edge. Okay. And then going this direction, you're going to e-wrap it. In the direction we're going, you're going to come back in a u-wrap, nice and loose, so it goes over and like nice and easily. And then you're going to e-wrap it same direction again. So e-wrap it, come back over, and wrap again in the same direction. And when you actually get going, it goes pretty fast. And think you're getting three stitches at a time, so it's like doing three rows for how much work you're doing as you're doing it. So this really, really knits up fast. Fun stitch to do. Really good for any kind of a shawl or cowl, or you could use it in a hat pattern too wherever you'd like, really. So I'm just showing you it knits up fast. We'll do a few more slow ones. So E-wrap and then just go over it in a U-wrap and go over it in a U-wrap again like that. So E-wrap it. Come back over like this, nice and loose. And then come back one more time again. There we go. And again, e-wrap it. Come back over it. And come back over it again. And then there's the edge. So we come over the edge and we just do a wrap. Whoop. 
and then we're doing owl eyes. You can wrap it separate like I did the first time or wrap right over it if you're loose. And then you come back nice and loose. Make sure you're loose. And you come from behind and come back over it one more time. Nice and loose. So that's all there is to it. We can look at it. You can see it's grown quite a bit. <laughs> it really, really goes together fast. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful stitch. We can look at it now that it's longer from the back. A lot of texture there. Completely different looking stitch, but still a nice stitch in its own right. And there you go. Now it will be a lot more lacy if I had used um, the three quarter inch gauge and a thinner yarn and it would still look good. It still does like I'll show you how it looks. This is how it would look. I'm pulling it out if it was more lacy. Still a really nice stitch and it still has lots of texture. Oh that's what I didn't show you is how much texture this stitch has. Right now I'm working a lot on textured stitches. But look at that texture. Lots of texture. And the other side too has lots of texture. Well, there you go. Lots of textured stitches and no pearls needed to do it. So just a fast, easy project. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have lots of fun with this stitch. And like I say, it looks really, really nice in the round. It's a different kind of stitch in the round. I mean, it, not a different kind. It just looks different, but still really nice and still with lots of texture. Okay then. Goodbye.